Hello, Rupa here from Crafters Corner. I am here with another video tutorial. This time we are going to work on uh, the Mod Podge and see how we can do decoupage on uh, a leather wallet. And then we would be using the multi-surface paints along with the played stencil. So to start off, let me tell you what are the uh, ingredients. The hero of today's project is the Mod Podge Lustre, the Gloss Lustre and this one is uh, glossy, glossy finish and look at the big jar. I think this is really economical for decoupagers who, who work on this kind of a project day in and out. This is going to last you a long, long time and let me tell you this is really economical. This is about... Uh, 946 ml that's a huge jar that is a huge jar i mean if you want to see it in terms of how big this is it goes well over my palm and goes up to my wrist so it's a pretty tall jar and then i have the multi-surface paints and today i would be using vintage white ocean blue and there is a skyline and daffodil yellow and my tools for today are the, sp are the stencil sponsor and my brushes and I have a decoupage tissue and here is the played uh, stencil this one is Suzani Splendor I am thinking of using these small patterns here for this probably would be using some more stencils from my stash let's see how the project goes so let's get started I have this plain white wallet which can be uh, decoupaged so the advantage is it is white and I can straight away start off my work so I have decided to use this tissue let me cut out some of the flowers from this I mean it's actually easy to just go about wrapping the whole thing with tissue but that's not the challenge that I want to take up I want to cut out a few prints and then collage it with a background there are many ways of cutting your uh, tissues one the easiest being tearing it as you go or you use a scissor and we don't want a perfect edge so it's always nice a tone edge is always nice for decoupage you can wet your brush and then draw a line around your tissue where you want it to be cut I'm going as close to the image because the idea is to create a background and do away with what is there I only want the flowers so let's see okay so you can see how easy it is to tear the tissue once you've marked the outline it just about tears where you drawn so yes that's how it is and as you know decoupage tissues come in three ply or even two ply in this case yes it is three ply so I remove the layers one and two so that's the floral part let me tell one more mm. bits and pieces of designs here I have my tissues cut so let's get started I'm planning to have a portion of this coming this way overlapping to the top so in these kind of projects I prefer to put the Mod Podge on the base and then adhere the tissue so uh, I'm applying Mod Podge directly onto the surface this being white I have not painted it 
so I give a thin coat a very thin coat of Mod Podge and I can place the tissue then I take a plastic cover and give the whole thing a good press this is basically to remove any air bubbles and creases for me this is kind of the best method to adhere a tissue onto any surface yeah. and then slowly remove the plastic cover so that's pretty much how smooth the tissue has stuck onto the surface let's move on to this side this is a small portion so I can directly apply the Mod Podge okay so for the other side I need to dry this before I flip it over so let me dry this and then get back so both sides are dry now let's start creating a background for this I'm going to use vintage white and ocean blue multi surface paints I'm going to mix both of them to get a lighter tone I'm going to blend the tissue to the background and then create some stencil patterns on the top. As you know, multi surface paints, these are satin finish. Coats on any surface really well. This can be. You can use either a sponge or a brush. I somehow like to use the sponge. I'm going to use the uh, sponsor to. Put the paint so this can be used on ceramic wood metal rigid plastic fabric canvas paper terracotta you name it so that's it i'm going to use the sponsor to kind of blend the tissue to the wallet you can see i'm going to take a bit of the blue also along with the vintage white So you go about creating a background, you blend the tissue to the wallet now, basically covering all the white spaces. I'm going to go with some light and dark tones of blue another shade of blue also which is skyline okay so let me continue the pattern I hope I didn't go off camera so you kind of blend in work the colors So I have first taken only the light blue and vintage white. Let me see how the other shade of blue is. Maybe just, yeah, that seems cool too. Maybe just around the edges or so. White and lighten this. That's cool, yeah. That's better. So yes, you can never go wrong. It's your style. Don't hesitate to try these kind of projects if you do have any doubts leave a comment I will get back to you okay so this is pretty much this side the colors that I have chosen further blending we would do with the stenciling let me do the other side and then come back Okay, so I have blended the colors on both the sides and then 
dried it with the heat tool. Let's get down to doing some background textures with the stencil. I have this crisscross kind of a thing from my stash. So first what I want to do is take the darker blue which is skyline and then do some stenciling with that and then go to another contrasting color which is the yellow which is there in the tissue so again I'm using the same sponsor I don't want this blue to have too much of prominence just to blend the tissue with the background so you can see the crisscross pattern here An advantage of using the sponsor is that these paints you can take off the excess and then start dabbing them so you wouldn't have any kind of extra oozing out from the stencil otherwise you do have invariably when you use other paints it kind of oozes out from the stencil so yeah some here Okay, so you can see I have the crisscross pattern here. It dries very quickly, so I'm not going to use a heat towel. I'm flipping it to the other side and then let me do some. And started painting. I did not use gesso. I have started using the paint directly onto the wallet. So that is another advantage of this multi-surface paint. I have in fact used chalk paints at the end of this video I would be showing you some pictures of some of the project the same wallet which I have done using chalk paints so for everything I have not used a gesso at all the advantage is it is white the base is naturally white and when you use these kind of chalk paints or multi surface paints it's pretty much understood that it can be used on any surface so there is no need to use gesso but yes at the end of it I would be giving at least three to four coats of varnish for a good seal because this could be this is going to be used quite often yeah wallets like these need to be flaunted right so yeah I have done the first layer of stenciling I can now safely move on to the next layer so I'm going to use the Suzani Splenda and let me see if there's any pattern that fits in. I have some little floral doily kind of thing here. So maybe I could do one odd one here and there just to get the yellow out from the tissue. So for that. And I'm not looking for a very, very crisp transfer here, the use of tissue because it's basically to create a background so it can be a little subtle mild however you want again these are from plaid different sizes I'm going to use the big one which is 5 8 and then so let me do this pattern here the yellow one Are you even wondering how this is going to look good? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, there it is. The yellow one. I think that looks pretty cool. So I can have another half design here. These mini daubers are so handy, meaning for these kind of small stencils patterns that you want to use let me do another half here I've used them on plastic there you go I think that looks pretty bright the yellow is really brightening the whole thing I think and I have a small bit here Okay. 
Okay, so I think I can flip over. Maybe have a small. How does that look? So that's the front and the back. I see some open space here. This is exciting. I, I really like when projects they, like these, these are unplanned, totally unplanned. Because I'll show you the other designs that I've done. Each one is different. So I'm just going with the flow. I think we can squeeze in another three-fourth there. And then maybe have some script stamping in black. That should complete. Yeah, I think that's cool. Or is there too much of yellow? There's nothing as too much. It's basically your style, how you want it. So yeah, I think I'll stop there. So I've kind of blended. In my opinion, this is fairly blended so let me get back i'll bring the uh, script stamp and the archival inks i'm back i have the archival ink in black and the kaiser craft script stamp i'm just going to do some random here and there First I thought should I do butterflies, but then hmm, it's getting too flowery and girly and butterflies, so I just thought I'd make it a little, I think the script stamp is good. Okay, I think that should do. So we've kind of covered all the gaps. You can see, yeah. Can you make out where the tissue ends and where the background is actually starting? So I will now dry this one last time. Even though all the paints and the inks are all permanent and they are quick drying, I, I, I like to give it one shot of the hot gun. And then we will give a coat of Mod Podge, seal that, wait for that to dry and then work on coats of varnish. So let me get back. This is dry now. So I'm going to use the Mod Podge gloss again, give one coat and seal the entire thing. I'm pretty much sure that I don't want to add anything else. This is fairly busy now. So one nice coat of the Mod Podge. So start looking out for your old wallets and bags which have not been used for a long time. You can do this. I'm just giving one thin coat to seal this. So that's one coat of Mod Podge. Let me dry that. The Mod Podge is dry. Next, I'm going to give a coat of varnish. You have the four cart home decor varnish here. Um, a minimum of three coats is what I would recommend for projects which, which are handled on a daily basis, like your trays or coasters, these kind of wallets. And you need to be patient. This is the last stage which is going to seal your project. So it would be like one coat of varnish 
let it dry then the second coat of varnish don't try to speed it up with a heat gun here natural drying is the best so and this varnish again it's colorless odorless dries really quick so i'm going to give one coat in front of the camera and then maybe get back after a day with three four coats done okay so as promised i'm back i've given about uh, three coats of varnish and of course drying time between each coat of varnish you can imagine three coats of varnish i've given about half an hour to one hour gap between each coat of varnish so in that time i managed to do another two so i'm going to tell you what i have used for these wallets uh green is my favorite color so i have decoupage the tissue here the uh, print here and for these i have used chalk paints i have used yellow crochet and then uh, patina and grotto and for the brighter green highlights i have used a little bit of the multi surface paint in uh, citrus green so for this project you can even use chalk paints as you can see the look is as good as the multi surface paints and they have blended well with the tissue and then i've used some script stamps with archival ink and some flourish stencil and dot stencil to fill up the background i think this has come out nice and bright obviously it's for me and then i have uh, highlighted the edges with uh, inka gold so that completes this one and for all you pink lovers i have this one with orchids in it and for this too i have used uh, chalk paints and only chalk paints this is casual and lilac yes so i mixed a bit of sheep skin to tone down the color and then for this i have used some star stencil and then i didn't want to avoid butterflies of course the orchids deserve them so i have some orchids which i've stamped with uh, archival ink sorry yeah uh, butterfly stamped with archival ink and then again the edging is done with uh, inka gold of course three coats of varnish for all these and here are all the three of them sorry all the three of them let me know which one you like and at the end of the uh, video i have some uh, photographs too pictures do have a look at them and then uh, let me know your comments if there's anything that you want to know about these projects i'm sure i'll get back to you do let me know i'll see you with another tutorial soon bye bye